Thyroid RFA is an ultrasound guided procedure. To perform this procedure, you will also need cold physiological saline, a peristaltic pump, a radio frequency generator, a radio frequency electrode, and two dispersive pads placed on a patient's thighs. Under ultrasound guidance, the RF electrode is inserted into the patient's neck towards the target nodule. After RFA, the nodule begins to shrink over a period of 12 months. To reduce the risk of damaging surrounding critical structures, the transithmic approach is used. The electrode is inserted from the medial to the lateral aspect towards the target nodule. An RFA proceeds under ultrasound view. The moving shot technique is a widely used method for RFA of thyroid nodules. The thyroid nodule is divided into multiple small conceptual units and the electrode is repeatedly repositioned, ablating the nodule unit by unit. The moving shot technique allows the physician to ablate following the contours of thyroid nodules, which are often ellipsoidal minimizing undertreatment and overtreatment of the nodule periphery. To reduce pain during RFA, parathyroidal lidocaine injection is recommended. The lidocaine needle is advanced into the thyroid capsule through the midline of the anterior neck, just above the isthmus. Injected lidocaine appears as an anechoic band separating the thyroid gland and the strap muscle. With hydrodissection, RFA can be performed with minimal complications. The 5% DW secures a thermal barrier between the nodule from adjacent critical structures. The artery first ablation technique and marginal venous ablation technique are two vascular ablation techniques which may enhance treatment efficacy and reduce marginal regrowth. Here subscapular vascularization is ablated and vascular signal on Doppler image diminishes. The procedure begins with the patient in a supine position with slight neck extension. Beginning from the deepest portion, ablation is performed unit by unit as the electrode tip is retracted following the appearance of transient hyperechoic bubbles. Check next ablation section of longitudinal scan. The electrode is repeatedly repositioned until the whole nodule is ablated. Clinical studies have shown that thyroid RFA results in a volume reduction rate of approximately 64.5% at 6 months, 76.9 to 80.1% in 1 to 2 years, 92.2% in 3 years. Thyroid RFA is associated with very low complication rate, pain, hematomas, vomiting are among the most common minor complications. Follow-up visits are usually scheduled first, third, sixth, and 12 months after the procedure to evaluate the outcome of the RFA treatment. If necessary, RFA may be repeated. Most of the thyroid nodule size reduction happens within 12 months after treatment. The biggest advantage of thyroid RFA is that it doesn't leave any scar after the procedure. And since the patient's thyroid function is preserved, 
there's no need to take thyroid hormone pills. 